You want to create an automatic monthly calendar in Google Sheets. We want the dates of the month here. And you may already know the two-day formula, but I'm going to share with you how to get the first of the month and how to get the whole first week no matter what. So to get the first of the month is going to sound convoluted, but it's going to be end of month. So this is the last day of the month before a certain date. Do B1, which is today. We could also put in here just today the same formula. And we're going to do negative 1 because that's the month before now. And to get the first of this month, we just add plus one. I know that sounds convoluted, but this is a really cool little trick formula that gets the first of the month, no matter what month we're in. And this today formula is going to just keep advancing every day until we get to the new month. And then when we switch over to the new month, we'll get the first of that month. But how do we display this, say, in a calendar across here, seven days, the first seven days of the month? That's actually, it has to be a little different, right? Because this is going to be something like Sunday, Monday. See, all of these across. We're going to use this exact formula, this this first day of the month. I'm going to do equals over here. And then we need to subtract however many week, like whatever weekday it is. So we also have equals weekday. And we can put this exact formula inside of it, weekday. And we now know seven. This means it's a Saturday. So we go equals this minus weekday. The same thing, we just get the weekday of it. Now notice it's 125. We also have to add plus 7 here. And that gets us now this first of the month on this Saturday. If we go to Friday and copy and paste, we just need plus 6 because it's going to be doing minus here. Here we need plus 5. Here we need plus 4, 3, 2, and on Sunday, the Sunday before the first of the month, we just need plus one. Because whatever weekday this is, is going to be subtracting here. So there we go. This is the first week of the month, wherever the, the week of that exists where the first of the month is in it. And now, if we want a calendar here for the whole month, we can put some spaces here. We can make this a little nicer. So we have these here. Now, to get the next week of the month, we do not need a very complicated formula. We already have the day of the week here. Here, we just do equals this plus 7. And we can copy this all the way across. Go down two spaces, copy, all the way across, copy. And we need here probably 5. Maybe, I don't think we'll ever need 6 here. If we wanted, we could. But let's take all of these second rows and extend them. Let's again center everything. And there we go. We have an automatic monthly calendar that's always going to update whatever month we're in. So today's the 22nd of February as I'm making this. The first day of the month is automatically February 1st. We're using weekday, oh, month formula. And we're figuring out all of the days of the month. And this is going to be automatic. This is going to be really cool automatic monthly calendar inside of Google Sheets. Make sure you subscribe here to Better Sheets and get more automations and really cool things that you can do in Google Sheets like this.